think we can see it just down there. It is a little bit crispy. And I think if we pull that away, you can see there is a gem of a bit of rust. Hi guys, Scott here from Outlaw Garage. We are back at Zuffin House today. We've had to drop some parts off for the SC. Uh, so we will do a bit of a tour and get a bit of an update on her. She is still on the ramp. Uh, there's a little bit of a story here, so uh, let's take a look. Ooh, and it looks pretty. Afraid to touch it, look at that. That is nothing like what it came off the car looking like. Now wander around and have a look at the brakes. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? A local company. Yeah, just something into the street. They do a good job, don't they? I couldn't believe how fast they were. I'll tell you what, because we've got those CV boots on order, and everything else has come quick. I bet they take a bit of time to get here. Not the CV boots. Yeah. Surprise me. <laughs> so there's the new front brakes and painted. They look really nice. There's a bit going on underneath. Look at that. That's all black and shiny. Cool new hoses and the oil coolers all been cleaned up. Yeah, I suspected that might have been the case. All new bushings, all new steering. She's looking pretty. Tomorrow we'll get some decent progress going. That's there. That's all come apart. All underneath. These are obviously still rusty. There we go. It's looking good. I guess like you said, it's just waiting for parts, isn't it? There she is. She's becoming a hover vehicle with no wheels. They, um, they had the loop to um, balance the system. Yeah, to balance the system, yeah. I guess it gives you the same length either side. That's that right, so that's a, it makes up for this bit of length here. Yeah, so this heat exchanger, it's, it's got to pump the exhaust gas from here over to here where it meets with this side here. Yeah. So they put a, an additional loop in there which makes it, makes it all the same. Because what we're going to do is put the Monty exhaust on it. It's got a big pipe on the out there, but we won't talk about it now, that will suit the car when we're finished with that. All oh, this is all clean and looks brand new. So that's the horn. That's the horn. Oh. Wow, that is pretty as well. Mm. Everything's pretty today. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, they're pretty well made. Yeah. So this will live up here. Like that. Yeah, and pipe into the Monty. Next best thing to SSIs. Yeah. So that's it, that's all the rubbish off that's, the car. That's all the rubbish so far. I guess that makes for a good scrap metal, these boots. So these were Vulc, no it's not those no, ones is it? No, the ones vulcanized, they're long gone. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, they're long gone. So. Here's all the other bits. Brakes, pistons. Yeah, I didn't think the pistons were too bad. I yeah, thought the pistons are alright. We've sort of faced them there because people people lever up against this surface and stuff, so we've given them a yeah. little bit of a linish on that surface. Um, all this stuff here's all been this has all been blasted from oh, the blaster over the back. Been blasted and that's just primed, you know, it's still gotta have its proper black coat on there. That's just a black edge primer he does for us so they don't go rusty when they when they're finished. So we'll put a I've gotta say this stuff looks great. Yeah, that all looks good. There's a lot more underneath all the yeah, yeah, yeah. Too, you know, all the backing plates and all that stuff. Put new, you've got all the new bushes in here too, so all these yep. ones here. These are all new in behind here. We just taped them up because they gave them a little bit more of a blast once we 
once we um oh yeah once we fitted the wheel bearings they got a little bit dirty so we gave them a re-blast and yeah tape those up oh you can see the fan how different it is look at that so we covered before it was all rubbing at the bottom wasn't it yeah it was all, all rubbing down there it was, i think rubbing might be a little bit kind to it, it grinding away gr <laughs> look at that smooth that runs so that's a wren shift wren shift yeah is it a shorter shift is it oh yeah it's a much shorter shift yeah, yeah okay well, there's two different shift settings you can um you can basically use i'm not sure on the how much shorter each shift is but i mean that, that's that's a fairly short shift yeah, or you is, can yeah. you can spec it up to this next hole here and i'm pretty sure it's going to be nice even shorter again well. yeah it's all billet yeah it's all nice so there's uh adjustable it's got adjustable throw both sides that's what these are it's got your nice reverse lockout in there which is this little bit up here yep yeah no nice spring needs to be relocated on that so you've got a couple of different shift options here you can have the long stick what's this one pretty much similar to that one similar isn't it yeah Depends if you want your aluminium look or not one of these on the top no no knob on the top because i'd broken my other one anyway okay so drive shafts the problem that we've had is they're flanged yeah so this, this is an aftermarket one but factory ones they're flanged on like this and yeah it's very yeah. hard to get replacements here at the moment so this is flanged the boot is actually part of this flange here so when you look at them though scott see all the cracks in between yeah them? they've all kind and of so, gone out so they? see this one here oh look that's actually really bad yeah it's it's uh yeah while they're here on the bench that's right while they're here on the bench so we're going to be dropping the engine we are going to change the engine mounts there's two on the gearbox as well what we're going to be doing is putting some reinforcement on the suspension struts that is over here this is from uh, elephant racing i'll explain about why we're doing that later shipping absolutely fantastic ordered on thursday turned up in australia on monday with fedex so that was pretty good but they are getting replaced and we'll drop the engine to put them in i thought we could do it with only doing a 10 percent engine drop but you see the engine bay is a bit more awkward to do on an sc so the guys are going to drop the engine scrub it all back weld them in and then it'll look like it should do from the factory so we're just pulling the light off popping the rivets through just a couple So they said the fittings on the night bloomer one mm -hmm. is the same as the fittings on the sc one yeah which an sc one these days it's not like this anymore i'll show is you it different it's clips like. it's yeah it's different clips so they thought they have a round boss that goes through this hole here and then they have a rubber then a washer and then uh, a nut and they and they screw on from the back with uh, with this style whenever you would fit them once it's on it's on it's never coming off again ah, so without breaking to put them yeah in. yeah so there we go we just pulled that off i think we've got plans for this because this is old and tatty oh, i can see there well, i might get a new one there we go i think they're about nine eight nine hundred bucks i think which is not uh which is not too bad that's not too bad yeah it'd be nice to get an illuminating one but there's a uh, that looks just so much better than the old crappy one that was yeah. on there. So it suits the car much better too, you know. Yeah, so it does, yeah. at least with that one off, you know, they can get all this you can paint all this stuff, you know? Yeah. Like, you know, fix up those holes Tidy that have been up. drilled in there. So here we go, we've got a little bit of rust in the old girl. I think we can see it just down there. It is a little bit crispy. And I think if we pull that away, you can see there is a gem of a bit of rust. A common spot to go but that shouldn't take too much fixing it will need a bit of cleaning up up there as well a little bit around the door i think we might have a little bit around here a little bit down here 
not that easy to see but it is a bit bobbly and then I think we might have a bit round the other side as well on the same side on the door here we go just there can we get that I think a little bit just round here it sounds a little bit funny so that's gonna need a little bit of attention but We've got plans for her, so we'll do those a little bit later. That's it from us today. Uh, there's a fair bit to do still on the SC. Uh, a little bit of a bit of rust, which we didn't think we'd see. We've pulled some more parts off her, uh, but uh, probably going in for some other work very soon. So stay tuned. See you later, guys. Bye.